Hello everybody and welcome to Prayer Matters, a weekly bulletin where together we spend a few moments praying for our world and also providing you with ideas and topics for prayer. As usual, there will be prayers on the screen, so we invite you to either read out loud if that's helpful or say the prayers with us in the quietness of your heart. And you might find it helpful to sit in a quiet area of your home for the next few moments. Here in the UK, the week we're in just now is designated as Mental Health Awareness Week by the Mental Health Foundation. So today we thought we would spend some of our time together considering well-being, the well-being of others and the well-being of ourselves. So here's a verse that you might find helpful today. Be still and know that I am God. So let's take an opportunity to be still. Today, as we rest our minds, draw breath, and come before God in prayer. Shall we pray? Lord, open my eyes that I may see the presence that is all about me. Open my ears that I may hear the voice that is quiet yet ever near. Open my heart that I may feel the love of God close and real. Open each sense, make me aware of the power and the peace always there. Amen. And we pray for ourselves and the well-being of others, especially those who may be suffering from poor mental health. Loving God, we pray today for those who are confronted by the sadness and confusion of mental illness and for those upon whom they depend for attention and compassionate care. Please comfort and relieve all who are troubled in mind and spirit. Bring them hope, peace and the consolation of a loving community. For those of us who suffer from some form of mental illness, we seek your presence in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. Give us courage to face our challenges and open us today to the many ways you are already working in our midst. Amen. And here's an amazingly encouraging word from Scripture. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Also this week, we have a couple of prayer requests to share with you from different parts of the Salvation Army. First, we've been asked to pray for the assessment process for officers, those on the road to full-time ministry. That's right, here in the UK, the assessment of candidates for officership is now being done online. And so the candidates unit has sent out a request for prayer. They say, Please pray that every candidate will be able to give a good account of themselves and articulate their calling. This is a nerve-wracking process at the best of times, even more so in this new normal of online interviews. And they ask that the Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ, will guide and guard all who are involved and that the applicants will know his loving presence. And we've also been asked to remember the Salvation Army's homeless services. As we look ahead to next week, from Sunday the 24th of May, the Salvation Army's Homeless Services Unit, which is the administrative team that operates all of our life houses up and down the country, are planning a 24-7 prayer event. And this event is going to take place in life houses up and down the land. As the name implies, a 24-7 prayer event is where people take turns to pray, usually on a rota, so that there is a continuous flow of prayer. We've been asked to Prayer for Major Graham Daniels, Territorial Chaplaincy Officer, and those planning this event as they seek to pray for and involve employees and clients in praying 24-7. And anyone can join in this initiative too. They say, You can book when you will be praying. Pray that the Lord will honour and bless each one involved as they humble themselves and pray. And if you want to sign up for a slot, visit the link in the description below. And do remember our life houses everywhere, especially as they embark on what we are sure will be a wonderful time of blessing through this prayer event. So finally then, we go back to scripture for some advice on well-being, and we're going to share the words of the 23rd Psalm with each other. So perhaps you want to close your eyes and listen to the voice of God speaking to you today. As you hear the words, be reminded of who he is and what he can do for you. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow grass and leads me beside the quiet streams. He gives me new strength. 
He helps me do what honours him the most. Even when walking through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me, guarding, guiding all the way. You provide delicious food for me in the presence of my enemies. You have welcomed me as your guest. Blessings overflow. Your goodness and unfailing kindness shall be with me all of my life, and afterwards I will live with you forever in your home. And now, as we close, a benediction. Let's share this together. May you remember you are held in the strong and protective arms of the God who sees, knows and loves you. May God give you rest, peace and hope. When you walk through the darkest valleys and face uncertainties, may you be aware of God's goodness, mercy and presence. Amen. Thanks for joining with us in prayer. Remember to find just a few moments each day to say your own prayer to God. And most importantly of all, just keep on praying because prayer matters.